My name is Tang Mua. I'm an assistant professor here at, uh, at Mayo Clinic speaking today on the frequency and implication of autoimmune serologies in idiopathic pulmonary fibrosis in an upcoming topic article in Mayo Clinic Proceedings. An approach that uh, clinicians have to take in uh, interstitial lung disease is delineating known and unknown causes, oftentimes uh, concerned primarily with idiopathic pulmonary fibrosis, currently a disease that's progressive and unrelenting uh, with no specific medical therapy. Uh, when patients come to the clinic, they ask specifically about whether IPF is underlying or secondary cause of uh, interstitial lung disease is existent. Our study, which is a retrospective review of biopsy-confirmed patients uh, from 1995 to 2010, reflects on a specific aspect of the diagnostic workup, which is obtaining autoimmune serologies. Uh, we know uh, from our recent uh, studies in the past, uh, recent studies as well as those in the past, uh, there is uh, some suggestion that if you have a secondary cause, there's better survival, one of which is uh, underlying autoimmune-related uh, lung fibrosis, uh, particularly those connected, uh, related to the connective tissue diseases. Um, in particular, uh, one aspect is obtaining autoimmune serologies, and in our study, uh, we reviewed uh, biopsy-confirmed uh, supposed IPF patients those with underlying usual interstitial pneumonia. This selected cohort was reviewed of which 389 patients uh, uh, fit our criteria and underwent screening. Our st uh, s institution applies a general uh, screening battery of uh, consisting of about a dozen or so uh, autoimmune tests with which we found 29% uh, uh, of patients had positive uh, serologies though ultimately nonspecific and without any uh, uh, eventual connective tissue disease. Our large cohort study suggests that ANA and rheumatoid factor are relatively common in about a third of patients, none of which imply any survival advantage, though in our cohort there was statistically significant increased empiric treatment in those with positive serology than those without. It may be suggested that prospective studies are still required to find out which uh, screening serologies are more predictive of autoimmune disease in particular focus on review of systems both initially and prospectively for defining connective tissue disease uh, before impaired treatments are initiated. We suggest uh, that uh, looking prospectively at which uh, serologic studies are helpful uh, are likely uh, going to be needed as we uh, try to understand general uh, atypically presenting uh, lung fibrosis in terms of delineating that from IPF. We hope you found this presentation from the content of Mayo Clinic Proceedings valuable. Our journal's mission is to promote the best interests of patients by advancing the knowledge and professionalism of the physician community. If you are interested in more information about us, our homepage is www.mayoclinicproceedings.org. There you will find access information for our social media content such as additional videos on our YouTube channel or journal updates on Facebook. You can also follow us on Twitter. More information about healthcare at Mayo Clinic is available at www.mayoclinic.com. This video content is copyrighted by Mayo Foundation for Medical Education and Research.